Like, you know, don't do that. They're not saying that. Will that be the case? Is that the case? Maybe. But don't you announce it. That's something for the family to determine. Should kids always be off limits when it comes to this kind of kid uh, thing, or are they fair game? Hi, Sheila. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hi, go ahead. I feel that children should be off limits. And does anyone not think that Donald Trump and his wife, if there was an issue with their son of any sort, would not have already looked into it to find a solution? And is there no Donald Trump to be put on life? And she's also now, I believe, identified a child of hers that is, I think, very young with autism. Which is fine if you take your child to a doctor and you have concerns and the child gets diagnosed with autism. That's one thing. But if somebody else were to say to her on social media, oh, it looks like your daughter is autistic. Wow, that's great. Great for the autism community. Whose place is that? It is certainly not hers. Sheila, I appreciate... Yep, go ahead. Did you want to make it up? I think she should mind her own business and let people take care of their own children. Thanks a lot for the call. 416-872-1010. Hi, Liz. Hi, Barb. Um, I'm going to say this with, with all due respect, but I... Um, uh, you know, I read a lot, and I'm, I'm, I'm not on social media, but I, I knew Rosie and Trump had a you know, head knocking all the time. But until your show, uh, I'm sad to say, I had no idea there was any, uh, I, I hate to use the word allegations, but any suggestions that Barron had any kind of autism. And, and I'll say it again with all due respect, but you're adding fuel to the fire. I don't know what, what the reach is. Um, for your radio show or, or for your show, but you know, how many thousands or hundreds of thousands of people now have got this in their head about Baron Trump, which really, I agree with, with the premise of what you're saying, children are, children are off limits, but you're, you know, I think you're contributing to putting him on limits with this show. That's, oh, that's oh, all I had to say. Okay, Liz, thanks a lot for the call. Well, um, I don't... Uh, you know, I'm just trying to think of how far my reach goes in terms of the kind of stuff that I'm reading. And I read a number of different things every day, and I've seen it all over the place. So I'm not sure um, what Liz is limiting herself to in terms of reading stuff. But I mean, this is what we do. It's a talk show. We talk about topics. Some of them are not pleasant. Um, I agree that this one may not be pleasant. But I don't think that um, we are creating a problem. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Trump family is not listening right now. And what we do is come up with topics that people can give opinions on. And I might venture as far as to say, Liz, if we got you to call, that's kind of what we're supposed to be doing. Getting people's opinions because they feel very strongly about something one way or another. 416-872-1010. Here is Deborah. Welcome to the show, Deborah. I, I, uh, um, I'm in agreement with you, and I think that, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of your show, and I think you always showcase items with a lot of respect, so well done. Um, I'm commenting on a, a, a previous caller who said that, you know, she felt that Donald Trump was perhaps getting a taste of his own medicine, and is that what we are as human beings, that because someone slights us, we turn around and do something with such vindictiveness and nastiness, and in no way do I think Rosie O'Donnell uh, Donald was doing anything but to try and continue on a feud and to attack, the, attack, attack a child when she has children of her own just speaks to what that person, and I put that in quotes, is all about. Deborah, it was very well put. Thank you so much. 416-872-1010. We're getting a strong reaction to this. I mean, it is. I have found it to be an interesting story. Um, back to Liz's point, uh, you know, we've sat on this story for a few days and watched it and said, I don't know, I don't know if we'll do something on it. But now that legal action has been threatened and other people are getting involved, I think it is an interesting story and really brings up the point about whether or not kids should always be off limits or whether kids are fair game. If you're just tuning in, Melania Trump's threatening to sue this YouTuber over a video speculating her son has autism. Last week, Rosie O'Donnell took that video, tweeted it out to almost a million followers, 
and said she was trying to help but she said Canadian she said Baron Trump autistic if so what an amazing opportunity to bring attention to the autism epidemic is that her place to announce that somebody else's child is autistic when they haven't been diagnosed I know there are a bunch of people on the line. I've got to break for traffic. If you want to keep talking about it, hang in. 416-872-1010. Text us at 71010. I'm going to get right back to your calls. I see you, Rex and Jamal and other people calling in. We'll continue with this when we return. It's the night side at 831. News Talk 1010, time saver traffic. Well, problems on the northbound DVP past Bayview have now cleared after a stalled vehicle in the center lane, but things are still heavy before Dundas. In town, Don Mills and O'Connor has some construction blocking some lanes, so expect delays on southbound Don Mills from the DVP. Another problem at Queen and Sherborne and northbound Bayview past Eglinton still with a stall in the right lane. Get into the legendary BMW 3 Series today from just 0.9% and enjoy credits up to $2,000. Only your BMW retailer until November 30th. I'm Miles Marcus with Toronto's breaking news, traffic and weather, in-depth radio, News Talk 1010. Your next update at 845. Do you want to master the